Nah, let's do a quick one. We're looking at combination locks in this video. Specifically combination locks with a cam bar as I've gone over combination padlocks in our hasp and staple video. The main parts on a combination lock are the barrel, the cam bar and the combination mechanism. The barrel most commonly comes in two lengths, 20mm and 24mm depending on the thickness of your locker doors. For steel doors you are likely to find that your locks will be 20mm whereas on laminate doors your locks will be 24mm. But by measuring from the start of the barrel to the end of the barrel, you can work out the length of your locks. A combination lock barrel has a threaded barrel for use with a nut fixing, and most commonly a combination lock barrel will come in a double D shape, as this is the most common hole found on locker doors, though there are some other types I'll get onto later. As with cam locks, the cam bar can come in a variety of lengths and can be either flat or with a bend, known as a crank. You may also find that cam bars can either be a solid bar or implement a hook into their design. Cam bars can be ordered separately to locks in the case that it is only the cam bars that are damaged. The combination mechanism is the main part and let's face it, without it your locker won't live up to its promise. Combination mechanisms can be either mechanical or digital. Mechanical locks commonly comprise of three to four dials that once a code is set will lock until that code is entered again like this budget lock and the low and fletcher lock respectively. There are also some mechanical combination locks that can be used with multiple users like this keyless one lock, where once the code is entered a second time and the lock is released, a new code can be entered immediately. There is also a dialed mechanical combination lock, also by keyless, which gives the same functionality but allows for an alphanumeric code to be used and leaves a smaller footprint on your locker door. Digital combination locks use programming to allow users to set four digit codes in either a single or multi-user mode and have a master reset code available. For more on our digital combination locks, you can view this video here. All the locks I have featured in this video also have a physical master key available should you need to open your locks if the combination is forgotten.